morning everybody i just made my first delivery back on van division and it was fantastic it took less than five minutes and we're out of there close the doors and go it's fantastic no rolling up straps no rolling up tarps no putting away equipment no getting filthy head to foot look at me still all clean it's time to go to our next delivery but first we need to make a pit stop you know uh I told my wife yesterday, if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. Well, as I was delivering this freight here, uh, I had a leaking brake, brake pod develop. It wasn't doing that before, but uh, when I released my tractor brakes, I have an air leak behind my cab. So I did some investigating and I found out that my driver's side front axle brake pod is leaking air not good can't go down the highway like that so lucky for me we're right in town and there's a shop literally around the corner here and I'm gonna bring the truck there and they're gonna replace that brake pod for me and here's the best part you know I have no I have bad luck I told you that uh, that's not the best part I have bad luck everything keeps breaking and you know how stressed out it gets when my truck breaks but guess what I'm not stressed out you know what the good news is I don't have to pay for it I just bring it there and they fix it and I'm on my way. I'm already benefiting from getting out of that Volvo. Let's go get this brake pot replaced and let's get on our get on our way. Our next delivery is in Quebec. It's in Saint Raymond, Quebec. I think they would say Saint Raymond. Oui, oui. Saint Raymond, Quebec. We're just gonna call it Saint Raymond, Quebec, just to bug them. I've got to turn around here though. And there's the shop right there. Expert Garage. Hopefully they got time and parts for me. They should, doesn't look very busy here. Give them some of my business, well not my business, but they're gonna fix my truck for me. That was a little jumpier than I was intending it to be. <laughs> I gotta get used to this clutch. This clutch is a little jumpy, a little grabby you might say. Well, we're detached now. Let's bring this around to the front there so that they can replace it. They said they can get me in in about 15 minutes. I'm guessing it'll take them less than an hour to replace it. And we'll be on our way. And I don't have to stress out at all. I can just go for a walk. Diesel, you wanna go for a walk? Truck broke, we're gonna get it fixed. I know, right? Look at him, he's looking at me like, why is he in such a good mood? This is exactly why I got into this truck. I just wasn't expecting it to break this soon, but like I said, if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. Waiting to get fixed. Brand new brake pod. Look at that. From the good people here at Expert Garage in Hearst, Ontario. So we're all set and ready to go now. So the invoice here says, uh, they brought the truck inside, a steady leak wilt park brake was released. That is true. Installed wheel chocks, that's, a, that's good. Uh, released brake and found leak at aft drive axle on port side. Isn't that like sailing terms? I found it on the aft drive axle on the port side. Is that normal diesel? You don't know? I don't know either. Anyways, uh, what that means is it's the rear driver side axle that was leaking, the port side. Maybe that's normal, what do I know? No, uh, no, as indicated on where we're, or not as indicated. Okay, I thought it was the front brake pod, it was the rear one. Uh, inspected front port chamber found no leaks. Inspected showed unserviceable brake chamber piggyback. Permanent clamp installed. What? You permanent clamp? Entire maxi replacement required. Caged maxi removed assembly and brought to parts department. Required new maxi, swapped fittings, measured old rod, and matched new clevis. Installed and clocked fittings as per the previous one. Installed maxi assay. What? Brought up air pressure, released brakes with no leaks at, at all this time. Most of that was all gibberish to me. I don't know what that means. They replaced a brake pod 
and it cost $413.30 Canadian. $413.30 that didn't come out of my bank account. So I gotta hold on to this invoice. The person whose bank account this did come out of is gonna want it. We're gonna hook back up to the trailer and we're gonna head to Saint Raymond, Quebec. Right, Diesel? St. Raymond, Quebec. Calf is casing. We got this dam here. I'm assuming that's a power dam coming into town. I'm gonna stop at the Flying J, have a shower, grab a coffee. Back on the road feeling all refreshed and ready to drive a full day. They're doing some blasting over here apparently. Bet they're building a new bridge. They gotta blast this rock away. Look at this. That looks like a lot of fun. So we have a full day. We have 1,159 kilometers to go to our destination and they're expecting us there tomorrow afternoon. Uh, they are open the next day too, which is Saturday for me. And uh, if I have to, I can deliver Saturday morning, but I'd rather be on my way to Nova Scotia uh, so that I can meet the ferry there over the weekend, get to Newfoundland and deliver Monday morning in Newfoundland. That's the plan. Lake, Ontario. It's very close to the Quebec border here. Took Highway 11 around because we had that one drop in Hearst. And we gotta meander our way through this little town here. We gotta be in this lane though. Only one lane goes through. Slowly make our way through their little downtown. I love these, these old towns. It'd be so neat, like once all the restrictions are lifted from this coronavirus, if we could spend some time making some vlogs in Europe, that would be awesome. Come on girl, I know you like to bog yourself down, but calm down. Not enough gears in this truck. It's an automatic, of course. Uh, and I think that it needs more gears. I don't think 10 is enough, especially for climbing hills and stuff. Like, this is gonna be difficult with heavy loads getting through the mountains. Welcome to, or I guess I should say, Bienvenue uh, to Quebec. Bienvenue au Quebec. I don't know what that sign says. Oh, uh, du droit de la mort. I don't know. So we're in Quebec. This is Canada's French province. Uh, it is the only province of Canada that refused to sign the uh, uh, Bilingual Act of Canada, which makes Canada a bilingual country. Uh, Quebec is not bilingual. It is monolingual. It is French only. For some reason, the, the entire rest of Canada uh, went out of their way, bent over backwards, did a somersault, then a backflip, bent over backwards again for Quebec to make the country bilingual, English and French, even though the English won the war. Uh, so we said, yeah, we'll make it, we'll, we'll share, yeah, English and French. And Quebec said, thank you very much, and took their ball and went home, and didn't sign the bilingual act. So Quebec is not bilingual. So when you come here, uh, you better have a translator and a really good GPS because all the signs, the road signs, the construction signs, the business signs, everything's in French, 
And there's a lot of people in Quebec that don't even speak English or they refuse to speak English. I'm not throwing shade at you, Quebec, at all. I'm not hating on Quebec. Uh, I love you guys out here. I'm, I'm actually, I admire how you guys uh, protect your culture and protect your language. I like that. I'm not really impressed that you didn't sign the Bilingual Act, but whatever. They also didn't uh, sign the Canadian Constitution or something like that. They're, uh, uh, it's Quebec. Uh, if, you, if you know Canada, it's Quebec. It's just Quebec. And I'm from the West, so they, for some reason, they don't like the West very much. And uh, the West, well, they're trying to build a pipeline through here and they keep blocking it. So there's a, they keep button heads a little bit, but I come here in peace. I come in peace with my truck that is bogging down. Why are you going down to 900 RPM climbing a hill? It's automatic transmission. Rattling things away here. I'll figure this thing out yet. I'm still learning how to drive this thing. New truck. But uh, yes, I, I come from the West. I come in peace, I bear no gifts. I'm sorry, actually I do bear a gift. I'm dropping something off in Saint Raymond, Quebec. So hey, I can, I can officially say I come in peace bearing gifts, a peace offering, if you will. I love Quebec, I'm just uh, making conversation. I'm sure I, I gave you lots to talk about in the comment section there now. <laughs> So uh, if you do come here, just uh, remember, it's a great place to come visit. It's a unique, pla unique place in Canada. Uh, but you do got to know that they speak French here. And there's not very much English, so just, you know, be prepared. There's technology. There's apps for that, you know. It's pretty cool. It's sort of like you're visiting a different country, but it's still part of Canada. And they still have the money with the face of our queen on it, which I'm sure drives them nuts. <laughs> oh boy, having the English Queen on your money in Quebec. I mean, that's got to really bug them, right? Am I opening up old wounds here? I mean, am I putting salt in there? I mean, does it bug you every time you, you look at your coins and your $20 bills and see the English Queen on there? I don't know. I'm just messing with you guys. I'm in a good mood. I'm not sure what town this is. Something French. These roads aren't that great, though. Yikes. So far, the roads have been pretty good in Quebec, but man, I got to this town. It's just wow. One of those places where you gotta tighten the bolts after you leave town. Can't read any of the signs. It's all in French. All in French. And in Quebec, you'll notice that uh, their stoplights are sideways. And when it turns red, there's two red lights on every one. Just to make sure you see it. And there's tons of churches. Tons of churches everywhere. Quebec is a very, well, they're French, so they're very Catholic, right? The English parts of Canada are more so Protestant. Like we're back where I come from, but lots of big Catholic cathedrals and parishes, I think that's what they call them. I'm not Catholic, so I'm, I don't quite understand the way it all works, but they got the most beautiful buildings, I tell you that much. The Catholics know how to build beautiful, beautiful churches. Well, my Quebec friends, I hope you're not too mad at me. <laughs> just some friendly banter I like I said I admire the the province of Quebec and their desire to hold on to what is theirs and their culture and their language and their people it's it's really cool to see and you go there and it's a really unique place and I recommend anyone who visits Canada make sure you stop in Quebec it's uh, it's a different experience just make sure you go to other places in Canada too because Quebec is very different from the rest of Canada <laughs> but uh, meh we're all friends in the end, right? So I'll, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's vlog uh, should be fun. We've got to make a few deliveries and then head off to the rock. We're going to Newfieland. I'll hold off on the Newfie jokes for now, okay? Until we get there. <laughs> uh, you guys are great too. Can't wait to get there and visit your uh, your your cold, wet, rainy, snowy, miserable weather island that is beautiful in the summertime all three days of it <laughs> i'm looking forward to it i'll see you guys uh, see you guys tomorrow tune in